Hello there, and welcome to this new tutorial on the Live Face app with Crazy Talk Animator 3. And in this advanced tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do audio recording along with lip, uh, lip syncing adjustment and finally data reusability. All right. So I'm going to open my Live Face app. I'm going to make sure it's connected with my iPhone 10. And um, I have my character here. And um, I can click on preview and I could see my emotions running already. So one thing to important to, to mention is that when we do facial mocapping with the live face app, users have to remember that the audio portion of the animation is not recorded through the iPhone 10. Instead, it is recorded through the microphone of your PC computer. This can be a PC, this can be a Mac. So wherever Crazy Talk Animator is installed, that is where your audio is coming from. And we have a section down here at the bottom um, inside the facial mocap panel. This is called Record Audio for Visami Track. So if I do not have this selected and I go ahead and create my motion clip, you'll notice that even though I'm generating uh, facial animations for my lips through the Live Face app, I am not generating Visami's uh, phone and Visamis based on the audio information. Okay, and I'm going to show you this right now. I'm going to record A, E, B, O, G. Okay, stop. And if I open the timeline with F3, um, I'm going to go to the character that I, that I have here. It's boy template 3. I'm going to go to face. And you'll see that we have a motion clip track. Let me try to zoom out from the timeline a bit. We have this motion clip track here. And this is just animation. I can play this back. All right. This is the animation that was played. But if I open the voice clip section, this is where we're supposed to have the, the audio track, the waveform for the audio. And under that, we're going to have the phonemes for the lip syncs that were generated based on that audio. Obviously, because I did not select record audio for Visami track, none of this was generated down here at the bottom. Instead, we only have a silent um, facial animation that was generated through the live face app. So I'm going to delete this part or just control Z. And we're going to do this again. Okay, I'm going to uh, collapse the voice clip track. And I'm going to click on stop. And this time around, I will, let me close down the timeline for now. This time around, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to click on record audio for Visami track right here in my facial mocap panel. And you'll notice that we have a drop down menu. We have um, the, the microphone that I'm using right now. It's a Shure uh, digital microphone, really high quality one. Um, we have a built-in microphone that comes with uh, the Mac that I'm using. I can also plug in, uh, use inputs for additional microphones if you have a, an audio jack or whatnot. So you get the idea. You first need to choose your audio source. In this case, I have my microphone selected, my Sure Digital Audio. Now I have my facial features, everything is okay, and uh, let's record. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to record, and I'm going to say something like, a, B, D. Hello, this is my animation with my audio. Stop. Okay. So you see that, let me close down the face mocap panel here. We don't need this at that moment. Um, you see that my time scrub moved forward and I can go into my timeline and you'll see that if I open the face, the voice clip track, I can see that waveform for my character. Let me try to zoom in a bit. Okay. And I can tr try to listen to that. Hold up. I'm going to bring the audio up. Try to listen to the, the voice that was generated here. And I'm going to say something like, A, B, D. Hello, this is my animation with my audio. All right. So you can hear that my audio was captured with my microphone. And at the bottom, we see that all these, well, I'll try to zoom in a bit. All these phonemes, all these lip syncs, 
they were generated um, from that audio. Now, the cool thing about Crazy Talk is that I can I can select one of these phonemes individually and I can replace them if I, if I want. So I can go into this woo phoneme. Ooh, this is generated because the system inside listened to my voice and it detected a sort of an ooh sound. I can double click on this and this will open the lips editor. And this is the phoneme that was selected. Okay, the visi media was selected. And obviously I can change the expressiveness if I want to increase or decrease that. Or if I want to replace it, ah, oh, ooh, or if I want to replace it with a totally different visi me. All right, so this is done with the lips editor, and this is actually very, very fun to use. This is very advanced because not just can I select individual uh, visomies, I could rearrange them. I could select a group of them, and I can choose to delete this, move this forward, or I can, I can bring in one entirely. I can double click on that empty area. This will open my lips editor, and I can drop one in and then I could choose if I want to adjust the expressiveness or everything else. All right. So this is one of the really cool things about Crazy Talk because not only can I generate that motion clip for my face through the iPhone 10 and the Live Face app, but we have captured that audio track and generated the lips visomies for my character. So why is this so 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 uh, practical? Well, imagine you can capture your animation, you can capture your performance, and you can package all of this with all the visomies, all the lip syncs, all the audio track, all the facial data uh, for, from the mocap, and you can package this into one little motion clip. And then later, you can apply that same motion clip to other characters. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to go down here. Let me try to collapse this so we could see it better. Okay, I'm going to save that uh, clip that we have inside. I'm going to close my timeline. Okay, this is the clip that I have. Let's see, you finish right there. All right. So right about there. So if I wish to save this animation, um, all I have to do is that I go into the content manager on the right. In the animation tab here, I can go to face and you see this plus icon inside the content manager. I can click on that and that will package everything up and that'll save this into my um, voice animation. Okay, now that's one way to do it. Another way that I can do this is that I can collect the entire clip. I go to face the to the to the timeline here and you'll see that there's an option called collect clip. Click on that and this will open this section here. This is a, an entirely new track. So what I want to do at this point is I want to select everything. The visomies that were selected, I'm sorry, the visomies that were generated with the audio clip and also the facial mocap clip that I generated. I am going to select the entire range of that uh, of both those um, those animations that were created. I'm going to right click on the collect clip part here. All right, and I'm going to export that. I'm going to export as facial motion. Okay, and then I can choose where I want to save it. I can go to my same folder, and I could say uh, voice animation voice animation collect animation hold up uh clip and i can save this make sure i want to make sure i'm saving it in the right folder okay there we go okay so we have that same motion clip and it's saved inside the content manager now why is this so practical well simply because i could actually choose to use that same motion clip on other characters all right, so once you have your motions um, saved here, um, the cool thing is you could actually reuse this data. Now, what do I mean? I mean that when you use Crazy Talk Animator and you have a new character in the future or a new project, 
You don't have to go through all the pain of having to set up the live face app and then having to capture your audio and then tweak the lip syncs with the Visemes and everything and you know, for each individual character. You can actually just drag and drop that saved motion clip file for the face with the audio and the Visemi and everything and just drag and drop it onto a new character. So what do I mean? Uh, I'm going to go back here to the beginning. Oh, I think I set up a keyframe by accident. Okay. Let me go out here to the beginning and we have uh, four different characters. Okay. We have a boss character. We have this uh, office lady character and we have Ted's dog. So I, the, all I have to do is I have to select um, that character and then I grab that motion clip, that face clip that I just generated and I can drag it onto that new character. All right. And I can also do the same with the female character. Now, don't mind his arm uh, flipping in and out. Basically, I set a keyframe there by accident. Just notice on the facial animations. And I'm going to say something like A, B, C. Hello, this is my animation with my audio. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, what about my dog? Hold up. I'm going to stop this, make sure my 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 time scrub is at the very beginning, select my dog, and bring in that facial and clip. I'm going to say something like A, B, C. Hello, this is my animation with my audio. Stop. Well, that is very cool. Ha! Nice. So you could see now how I can create my own animations like with my own audio. And, and then later on, if I play around with the Visemes, I simply have to save that motion clip to later reuse that data on other characters and projects in the future without having to do everything from scratch again. All right. So this is a tutorial on how to do audio recording, um, lip syncing, um, tuning, and data reusability with the Live Face app and Crazy Talk Animator 3. Stick around for new tutorials that are coming up very soon. Thank you again.